The concept of yin yang was first found in the Book of Changes, dating back to about 700 BC. Back then, it was a combination of broken and unbroken lines, but today we all know it as this symbol. While almost everybody recognizes this as a yin yang symbol, most people don't really know what it stands for and that it's a theory in Chinese medicine. So let's start with the basic explanation. These are the Chinese yin yang characters. The first character can be divided in two separate characters, with one representing a hill and the other representing a cloud. The second character represents the sun and its rays of light. Thus, both characters combined represent the idea of a hill, with yin being the shady side and yang being the sunny side. And that's where the light and dark color in the symbol come from. Now, let's explore this idea a little further. If the shady side is yin and the sunny side is yang, then nighttime must be yin and daytime must be yang. Rest is yin, activity is yang, the moon is yin, the sun is yang, and so on. In fact, everything in life can be brought down to yin or yang. Although yin and yang are opposites, they also transform into each other, which is reflected in the well-known symbol. Night will always become day, winter will always become summer, and activity is always followed by rest. Now, put in a Chinese medicine perspective, one can say that every philosophical process and every symptom or sign can be brought back to this yin-yang theory. And all diseases and treatment strategies will boil down to one of these four. Either someone has a lack of yin or yang energy, and thus yin or yang should be tonified, or someone has too much yin or yang energy, in which case the excess should be eliminated. One can say, without yin yang, there is no Chinese medicine. So understanding this theory and applying it in practice is therefore of supreme importance.